Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to have kind of an A smoke battle, okay? On this side, we got the AS350, and on this side, we have the AS300, okay? The only real big difference between the two is that the AS350 had a, a bigger lid or a higher lid, so it allows you to put larger pieces of meat in this one than in this one here. However, they both cook relatively the same. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today it's going to be doing a little wing battle, okay? Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to see exactly how well um, the a one of these AS uh, or A-smokes can handle mixing pellets with uh, chips, okay? To see if we can get a more enhanced smoke flavor, okay? Now, there are some dangers to this. Uh, if your chips are too large, they could jam your auger. So uh, I am not advocating you doing this with your AS um with your ace smoke okay so do this at your own risk if you want to try it okay but what we're going to do today is we're going to take the uh apple pellets from a smoke and we're going to put them in the uh, as350 okay and then we're going to mix the uh apple pellets with these jack daniel whiskey barrel chips and then we're going to put them in a 300 uh, they both going to have about six, seven chicken wings a piece. Uh, the chicken wings have been seasoned the same, just plain SPG, so we can kind of see what the level of smoke flavor is going to be. All right. Now, the reason I picked these Jack Daniel chips is not for the fact that they are Jack Daniels, because um, there are several different uh, flavor chips out there. But when I saw this bag, the chip size is very small, okay? So it's not those big chunk of chips that some manufacturers give you. Okay, these are pretty small, and I think these will work well going through the auger along with the pellets, okay? So let's go ahead and get this uh, these two prepped up, and we're going to get the chicken wings in the smoke, and we're going to see how this thing turns out. All right, so <laughs> this is the AS350. We're going to have to open it up, open up our hopper. We already have some apple chips in there. So we'll go ahead and just top it off. And that should be plenty for roughly a two hour cook of, of wings, okay? That one's set. Let's go ahead and get the 300 set up. All right, so we got our bucket like we had in our last video. We're going to start off with four cups of apple pellets. Get those in the bucket. And we're going to add four cups of the Jack Daniel pellets. And as you can see, like I mentioned, they are relatively small, so they shouldn't have a problem going through the auger, but we shall see, like I said, don't try this at home if you're afraid that it's gonna damage your A smoke, okay? All right, now we're gonna shake this up. All right, so now we finished getting it mixed up. As you can see, we have a pretty good mixture of pellets and chips. So let's get it loaded in the A smoke. All right guys, so as we did with our last experiment, we vacuumed out the, the hopper. So we're gonna have to prime this again. We're gonna go ahead and get this filled up. All right, I'm gonna get it closed down and get it primed. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is that, and we all know that the A smokes have a little bit of issue with uh, temperature control. I got the AS350 set at, at 250 and it's up at 330, so I'm gonna have to let it settle down a little bit, but this one is, has nothing but pellets in it and it went from 100 and 40 degrees up to 300 in, in a matter of seconds and stuff so um we'll see if it comes back down and settle down 
the AS300 is uh, taking its sweet time to get up to 250 degrees. That could be because of the wood chips. Uh, maybe not enough pellets, but I would have thought that the wood chips would have burnt a little bit faster. So we shall see. Uh, we'll give them both time to come back and settle in at 250 before we put our chicken wings on. All right, guys. So our experiment here is a failure. So we got an error three, and uh, which means that the fire is not staying hot enough to keep the system going. I'm attributing that to the uh, auger uh, being jammed. So, like I said, the auger uh, is not strong enough to push those wood chips through with the pellets so like i said before you know experiment at your own risk uh as as small as the chips were they still were getting caught up inside the auger along with the pellets uh, i had the, i went in there and, and unjammed it a couple times and uh it started feeding and then it hung up again so this is a a, a failed experiment so we're gonna switch gears we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cook our wings on the 350 with the apple wood pellets and then uh we'll call this one done okay so guys you know when you have an idea man and it doesn't work out man and you have to keep going until you at least try to make some semblance come uh to fruition well that's what i went did i went and dug up my cameron's smoking wood chips for those smoking guns or for the cameron indoor uh, smoker and these uh, chips are much, much smaller than what I have from the uh, Jack Daniels wood chip bag. So we're going to use this. I'm going to try this again. We're going to make this work and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So hey, let's get experiment uh, two started. All right, so I don't have a whole lot of these A smoke pellets left, but let's see what we got. Well, I got enough for a couple of measuring cups full, but I'm only going to use four cups this time. We're going to do the experiment on a smaller scale. And then I'm going to use these, this, one, this container of oak. So we got apple wood chips with oak. Uh, we got apple, wood, apple pellets with oak wood chips. Okay, so we'll see if this helps out or not, or if it works, or if I'm just... Whistling in the wind. Hell with it. Put the whole thing in there. Okay. All right, so we're going to mix this up. So the wood chips are small enough where they definitely should not get caught on the auger, for sure. All right. So let's go ahead and load it up. Yeah, it looks like the, uh, the wood chips stayed with the pellets, didn't fall through. So that's a good sign. They should get fed with the pellets. Let's do this. All right, guys. So this one seems to be getting up the temperature with the smaller wood chips in it. So we're going to go ahead and pull an audible here. I'm going to yank those wings from the top of here because they've only been on there for a little while. And I'm going to toss them in here. Maybe we can still see if there's a difference in flavor. So, we'll move these bad boys over. We'll put four in the in the oak smoke. Eh, let's make it five. In the oak smoke, the oak apple smoke. We're gonna shut it down. We're gonna lead us. So both of them be going at 300 degrees. This still got to get up to. It's at 250 right now. We'll take this rack out and we'll close this up. Man, we're going to let these bad boys run. We still may, even though it's a little bit of an audible, we're going to go ahead and see if the AS300 gave us a little bit more smoke flavor than the AS350 with those miniature wood chips in it. Okay, so hang around. Let's see if we're successful. All right, so these uh, wings have been on these smokers now for an hour and a half. Let's take a look at them. So these are the ones on the AS350. They're temping out at you know 180 190 200 and that was at 176 but i don't like the way the skin looks on them they still seem like they need to be cooked a little longer so 
We're gonna let these flow probably for another 30 minutes or so. Let's check the AS300 with the chip and pellet combination. Oh, now I like the way these look, man. They look a lot crisper, they look, look a lot darker. These are tipping out at 200. I'm, su I'm suspecting that the combination of the pellets and the wood chips is giving a little bit different type of heat. So, I think I'm gonna take these off and let these sit and then we'll wait on the ones to come off of the 350. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test our wings here. These are the wings here on my left hand side that came off of the AS300. Oh, they smell good. And these are the ones that came off of the AS350. Now, these had the combination of pellets and wood chips, and these just had the, the pellets. So we're gonna see if there's any difference in the flavor. Okay, so the first ones I'm gonna taste is the ones that didn't have the additional smoke. So we're gonna test out the ones off the AS350. I'm gonna cover this up just so the fuel of flies that's flying around in the gazebo doesn't come in and get their taste also. All right. So, grab one of these, get a paper towel. Now, first of all, I gotta say that these are not, the skin is not as done as they were on the AS300. So I'm not quite sure if that was a different type of heat produced by the wood and the pellet combination or just between the two smokers themselves. But they smell good. I can smell the SPG, but um, there's no indication of, of smoke. I know pellet smokers are hard to obtain a good smoke flavor and smell and that's why we're doing these experiments but let's go ahead and taste this one anyway good chicken wing moist flavorful from the SPG but really no indication of smoke the skin is a little crispy but not as crispy as I would have liked but there's really hardly any indication of smoke flavor on here all right let's try the other one so let's get the one of the ones that came off the 300. Let's give it a sniff. Now that definitely has a different aroma. Not over, not overpowering, but it is different. All right, let's go ahead and have a flavor. Have a taste, have a flavor. Not an overpowering smoke, but definitely a smoke flavor in here more so than over here and even though they use the same pellets it has to be the difference in using the wood chips very good chicken wing skin is just a little bit crispier so i think part two of this experiment what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the same combination of wood chips and pellets in the as 350 next time to see if it gives me the same results that I got on the AS300, okay? Also, we cooked these at uh, 300 degrees, so it was pretty high temperature to try to uh, impart smoke flavor, but I was trying to do a combination of uh, adding smoke and crisping up the skin. So uh, the next time also that we use this method, we are going to cook at 225, 250, between 225 and 250 uh, to let the meat cook longer. Um, chicken wings only take about an hour and a half to two hours at 300 degrees. Uh, so, you know, if I do a small pork butt or something along those lines, then the smoke uh, flavor may be more prevalent just because the meat had an opportunity to stay on the smoker for a longer period of time. So that's about it. So if you got a small pellet smoker, Try putting some of these mixed in with your pellets and see if it gives you a little bit more of a smoky flavor like I got. Uh, don't use the um, chips that come in the bag. So no matter how small they are, they seem to get caught up in the auger. So unless you're going to run through the bl a blender or something to reduce the size. But 
I would just go ahead and if you're gonna do it, just get you some of these. Uh, don't have to be Cameron's brand. There's several brands out there of miniature smoking chips, and uh, and try it for yourself, okay? But once again, do it at your own risk. You know, I'm not buying anybody a uh, smoke if they damage it. Trying to do what I did here, okay? Uh, and that's about it. So hey, give me your comments down in the bottom. Please subscribe to the channel. It helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, that's about it. So hey, like we always say, hey. Where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker.